Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about ACR introduces new guidelines to screen, monitor and treat interstitial lung disease in patients with rheumatic conditions. The American College of Rheumatology or ACR has provided an overview for forthcoming recommendations regarding the screening, surveillance and management of interstitial lung disease or ILD in individuals diagnosed with systemic autoimmune rheumatic diseases. Interstitial lung disease includes a wide array of conditions individually relatively uncommon but collectively found in approximately 50 people per lakh of population. There are over 200 specific diffuse lung diseases including those characterized by fibrosing and granulomatous histopathology. Systemic autoimmune rheumatic diseases or SARDs encompass a range of medical conditions where the immune system mistakenly targets healthy tissues throughout the body, resulting in systemic inflammation and various rheumatic symptoms. Major highlights from the guidelines providing evidence based recommendations for the screening and treatment include providers can screen patients at higher risk for ILD with pulmonary function tests or PFTs and high resolution computed tomography or HRCT of the chest PFTs chest HRCTs and ambulatory desaturation testing are conditionally recommended for monitoring ILD progression. It is conditionally recommended that providers do not use 6-minute walk test distance, chest radiography or bronchoscopy for screening or monitoring disease. Guidelines suggest that patients with IIM ILD and SSC ILD receive PFTs for monitoring every 3-6 to six months during the first year, then less frequently once stable. Guide Guidelines suggest that patients with RA ILD, SJD ILD, and MCTD ILD receive PFTs every 3 to 12 months for the first year, then less frequently once stable. The guidelines strongly recommend against using glucocorticoids for first line ILD treatments in patients with SSC ILD. Short term glucocorticoids are conditionally recommended as a first line ILD treatment for patients with systemic autoimmune rheumatic disease related ILD or SARD ILD, excluding. SSC ILD, mycophenolate, azathioprine, rituximab, and cyclophosphamide are all potential first line ILD treatment options for patients with SARD ILD. It is conditionally recommended that the patients with SARD ILD do not receive leflunamide, methotrexate, tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, or abatacept as first line ILD treatment. If SARD ILD progresses despite first line therapy, mycophenolate, rituximab, cyclophosphamide, and nintedanib are potential secondary treatment options. RA ILD progresses following initial therapy, perfenidone is a treatment option. The guidelines conditionally recommend against perfenidone as a secondary treatment option for SARD ILD other than RA ILD. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.